Hello everybody and welcome back. As always, I am Mateo311 and this is your one channel for everything VR related. Today we're going over some of the best local multiplayer VR titles. So I thought this was the perfect time to put out this list, cause due to the quarantine, you may be locked in your house with only one VR headset to go around. So why not share that experience at the same time with some amazing asymmetrical titles? Now all of these titles will only require one VR headset but have support for up to nine simultaneous players using either a keyboard and mouse, some game pads, or even your cell phone. Now this is a list of my personal favorites, and if you end up enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, consider subscribing. Okay guys, let's get into this. Alright, so I'm gonna order this from my least to most favorite titles and stick around to the end because I have a little surprise with a brand new title that I'm giving away that also has asymmetrical support. Now first up is Reiko's Fragments. This is an early access title available on Steam which has one VR player trying to escape a haunted house and up to eight players doing their best to scare that person's pants off. Non-VR players can join in on the fun from their phone, acting as spirits in the game, which basically gives you the ability to trigger jump scares. VR horror titles definitely are not for everybody, so this wouldn't be my first choice, especially if you're trying to introduce people to VR. So next up is Akron Attack of the Squirrels. In this title, the VR player acts as a tree protecting its nuts, while up to eight other people can join in the game from their phone and control an array of different squirrels with special abilities they can use in order to gather those acorns. It's super easy for anyone to get into, and it's fun for just about all ages. Next up is DeVigo. Now this title is actually only in an alpha state, but good news, you could download it for free right now, I will include a link in the description. And in this game, the VR player takes on the role of a giant who's battling a tiny creature controlled by someone at the keyboard and mouse. As the VR player, you feel powerful and in control, able to rip up trees or other objects and toss them at your opponent. And as the flat screen gamer, you have to be very strategic in your counter attacks. Now, technically there is online multiplayer and other options to this game, but I'm really focusing on asymmetrical local play for this video. So the next title is available not only on PC VR, but you can also grab it on the Oculus Quest. And this is keep talking, nobody explodes. Now this is a hilarious puzzle game that only requires one VR headset and an instruction manual. It's designed for two people, but I've played it with more. The VR player will be looking at a bomb with a timer, and they'll need to describe aspects of the bomb to someone who is only looking at the instruction manual. Now the bomb is designed to trip you up and purposely lead you to confuse your bomb defusal expert. Other aspects like buzzers and constant ticking also do a great job of making you anxious throughout the defusal process. So next up is Smush TV, and this is another really unique title. Now roles are reversed in this title, and rather than the VR gamer being the larger and more in control player, they are instead basically trapped in a Tetris box, and the flat screen gamer is trying to smush them. The VR gamer will be looking up into the sky as blocks descend upon them, but there are different options to traverse the world and even defend yourself. I originally played this at PAX East and it drew in a nice crowd acting as a spectator spot. There were even some cheers when the VR gamer pulled off some amazing moves or just narrowly avoided death. If your goal is more one-on-one -on -one competition rather than just straight up party fun, this might be a better title for you. So next on our list is my personal favorite and that is Takeling's House Party. Like most of the titles on this list, it is still in development and three of the five game modes are currently available. Now this game also allows for up to nine players, one being in VR and an additional eight either using cell phones or traditional game pads. The objective will vary per level and it's not always VR player versus flat screen gamers. Flat screen players will take on the role of Takelings, 
which are basically brightly colored humanoid creatures, and the VR player is just a regular human using an assortment of tools, usually kitchen items, to take out as many takelings as possible. The kitchen level is my personal favorite because there are just so many different hilarious ways to murder the takelings, like throwing them in the toaster or frying them on the stove, but it also creates these really tense moments where the takelings all skitter around and do things like unplug the toaster. It's also pretty satisfying to shoot takelings with dual nail guns. I actually throw this game on every single time I have a house party. Okay guys, we have that one little special bonus item that I promised you. So next week's Space Team is releasing for both PC VR and the Oculus Quest. This game does support asymmetrical play, you can jump in from a cell phone, and not only will I be covering it, but I'm also going to be giving away a copy. So if all works out, join me Sunday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be live streaming this, hopefully with some fellow YouTubers. Some people should be able to join us in game on their phone, and we're also going to give out a key on the live stream and also in my Discord. So join the live stream, jump in my Discord, and if you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Okay, I'll see you guys on next time.